Well, The Lost Boys, and this is on setjetter.com. Description is, if there was one movie I was hooked into during high school, it was probably <laughs> The Lost Boys. Rewatching it decades later, some parts have not aged so well, but other scenes are pretty timeless to me. And who doesn't love the soundtrack? Fortunately, recently I was fortunate enough to enroll in the leadership series at Stanford University and took advantage of being so close to Santa Cruz to visit to some locations. So here we go. <laughs> and if no, I'm not mistaken, you chose like... Jaws three over Jaws four over this. Uh, yes. Which uh, who wouldn't? I I don't. I, it was either a sneak preview of this or Jaws the Revenge, and I was like, well, Jaws the Revenge has got to can't. It's got to be the the summer blockbuster. <laughs> well, of course. Um, I didn't know, but but this is awesome. This yeah. set to this. I just um, that needs to be a shirt. Really. <laughs> I used to write all my letters, you know, because the the Lost Boys has this big letter little letters type kind of thing and so i was oh, always writing stuff like that don't ask me i was really into the lost boys so wow that's uh, it's a great movie yeah so santa cruz boardwalk which looks mostly the same i wasn't there uh, for any night shoots uh but uh the uh the merry-go-round looks pretty much the same as it did all these kind of years later um is it a big town i've never been it's kind of it's a seaside town, so it it is decent size, but it's one of those almost like East Coast where they're all clumped together, you know, that you just drive from. It's all yeah, connected, okay. you know, from town to town and so forth. But uh, and then uh, of course people remember us. It was us. Um, yeah. Uh, shot quite a bit there, and they mentioned they're filming a movie. They do. They go. They're filming so a movie on the boardwalk. Yeah, so, but yeah. So, um. So yeah. So here's where the, uh, the last Lost Boys was Santa Carla in the movie, yeah, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Murder capital of the world. So um, right. that's where the billboard was, was pretty much where that uh, surfer statue was located. So I just want to see this billboard one more time. It's yeah. okay, cool. Um, boardwalk again, uh, which I read that hot dog spot is like still there. Yeah. So there's still, I think later it shows up. So I don't know if that's the same exact one, but they, they, do, <laughs> they right. do have, they do have the guys on the, uh, the thing. So, so I thought I, Without having a, a helicopter or anything, I think I did a pretty decent job of uh, getting oh, some of the. It's pristine. It's shot for shot. You did the, a great job. Now I was a little worried that last picture uh, at the with the roller coaster. If you go to the very last one, I did take for, while I was on the the sky ride. Um, I was a little nervous riding that sky ride because it's just like it's a bar over you, and I was like. Oh, I felt oh, like yeah. I, could no slip, I could I could slip out any moment, and I was wearing flip flops, and I was oh. really worried that I was going to lose a shoe. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. These are the adult worries that you have uh, now. Valid, so, yeah. Valid. Oh, but, I like uh, that Richard Donner produced it. Um, yeah, so. This is the uh, Poganip Clubhouse. Um, you got a good shot here. Yeah. So this is semi accessible. You have to kind of park and and take that hike up. Uh, uh, the road to get there and and it is fenced off but you can still get some decent shots of of where they shot that so was his grandpa sleeping yep right is he dead no he's just <laughs> sleeping it's just there's a lot of weirdness that happens here so there, there, uh, there was some weirdness yeah so oh i see uh my night shots were not but done by b but my dad uh was there so they they were there at night oh, so nice the evening shots are provided by mr patterson so. thank you mr patterson yeah. was mr patterson there on vacation it uh, must have been so. Oh, cool! But uh, so here's some of the spots where the video store was. Uh, a video store, kids, is where you could rent VHS tapes. Uh, physical media. <laughs> physical media. So, um, but so cool across the whale. So, um, so this spot, uh, which is actually right, it's right next to one of another us location. But if you kind of turn the camera around, but uh, this is where the the couple was uh, parked, and you can kind of see the. Oh yeah in the background as well us was good uh i like us this. This, this is a great shot right here the boardwalk more boardwalk yep so so they made some changes and then i think the next one you can kind of see hot dog on a stick uh, oh you remember uh, there it is up. yeah so i think go to the next yeah there we go so you can see it's in the same place they do have an updated sign and and some of the rides have changed, but um, it's not like Joe's Diners from the Friday Final Friday or, or whatever yeah, it was. Yes, where gone, it was like a just now that, yeah. yeah. So, um, so the bridge is actually in L.A. or Valencia, California. So, oh. uh, you can just uh, take a quick visit to there if you would like, and it's not, the, the, it's not the same one in um, where you and I went, but it's similar, like the steel. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of not too. It's like a hop skipping away from. Is it Six Flags? 
uh, that's Six over Flags. there. Yeah, yeah, so, Canyon Country. It's kind of up there. So, um, what uh, Santa Cruz the, Wharf is Alita's yeah. Cantina and Grill. Yeah, so it looks uh, similar. I think. Good job. I think it's. It looks like it's the same um, podium there. <laughs> Were they and they were cool with you just going and taking shots? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think they were open yet, and I asked, you know, and stuff. But, but it does look like the same podium, so oh, I could wow. have done a dramatic run out, you know. Oh, that's so cool. Of the thing, so um, okay. So where was the house at? So, so this is it's actually not too far from uh, the boardwalk. So you just have to kind of. I remember I had to drive and I had to park and I probably had to walk a quarter mile or, or half mile to go up the it's a kind of a trail you know path but it's in that area though yeah yeah okay so that's where the house is and then interesting for the next section we head over to warner brothers studios so oh, yeah and i remember so i like i said so that same visit when i was there for beetlejuice this is a year after uh uh the lost boys came out and i was so excited to see the church from the lost boys um, which I've never been inside the church. I'm not quite sure. I oh, should just ask. I should just ask next time I go there. But, uh, um, but yeah, that's where they get the holy water. So where was the church at, Robert? At Warner Brothers. You you haven't been inside there, but you've been. Um, you you want to go inside? Yeah, there's really just nothing inside there. It's just a shell. It's a shell. Yeah, they just add to it. So. Oh, that's cool. That's a great shot. I should have gone at sunset. This is a great page. Authentic. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, Max's house is long gone, but uh, somebody else had found where that was located. So, okay. Uh, and then of course uh, Joel Schumacher, the director, oh, who is nice. also he has since passed away. Yeah. Um. I I just listened to uh, I forget what it was an old interview with him. I forget from he passed away what like twenty thirteen or something. Yeah, it wasn't too long um, ago, man. But he was uh he was a rock star. He lived quite the promiscuous life. He was funny. So uh, I met him around. at Sun I met him at Sundance and then uh kind of I'll 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 try to PG up what he said. Um, but uh I remember oh. he, he was funny because he was talking to everybody. He was like, It's not it's not just how now I'm gonna have to get the quote like the quote right, but it's just not about B jobs and, and sunglasses, <laughs> folks, or something like that. And I was just <laughs> like and he directed, you know, the incredible shrinking woman. I mean, he was he's just oh, yeah, he's Batman just... forever. So so I met, of the I met, opera. Yeah. So I met quite a few of the cast over the years. So oh, yeah. you saw uh, Kiefer Sutherland and Jason Miller and oh, yeah. Jameson Newlander. Edward Herman, who has also since passed away. Yeah, he did. What else was he in that we've talked about? Uh, Annie. Uh, <laughs> to think. He's Annie. been in a lot of, lot of and No, Annie was so, it. We yeah. covered that. Um, we still believe there's Tim Capello with the saxophone. So Tim Capello. Wearing the, wearing the same. So Chance Michael Corbett. Kelly Jo Minter is barely in the movie, but she gets yeah, in. She's, but, her name's in the opening credits, you know, but. She's, she's credited. Yeah. So, this is so uh, cool. Uh, 